Pamela Anderson's been living with it for seven years. Like 15,000 people in Oxfordshire, she has hepatitis C. She thinks she contracted it from an infected tattoo needle. The disease affects the liver and can be fatal, but experts at the University of Oxford are hoping to develop a vaccine. Earlier I met Philip Spaulding from Swindon who was diagnosed with hepatitis C and Professor Paul Kleneman, a consultant who specialises in infectious diseases. I began by asking Philip how he first knew he had hepatitis C. Um, well, I suspected I had it when I was diagnosed um, when I went to uh, drug rehabilitation. So you've been an intravenous drug user? Yeah, yeah, uh, for quite a long time. I, I, I pretty strongly suspected, I mean, I was pretty sure I hadn't actually had the, didn't get the diagnosis until I was in rehab. Um, and um, yeah, and that was pr pretty quickly. And then I decided as soon as I could, I'd try and do something about it. Well, we can see that, um, Philip, you're alive and well. And, and Paul, um, sadly, Body Shop founder Anita Roddick died. She had a hepatitis C from a, a blood transfusion about 25 years ago, and she died. But Pamela Anderson, perhaps most famous person who has it, she's very much alive and well. So it's not necessarily a death sentence, is it? No, not at all. I mean, people respond very differently to the virus, and uh, some people do uh, progress with liver disease, and, and it can be very serious. And other people have very mild disease, and they can live to a ripe old age and we don't really understand why. We know that drinking is one of the things on top of the hep C that makes things worse. Mm. And, and Philip, you changed your lifestyle, didn't you? And you've had quite a, an intense treatment. Yeah, yeah. I, I finished it uh, just two weeks ago today, I finished it. And it was a 48-week course. Um, and it was quite debilitating, but um, I felt worse with the virus active uh, the, the, the six months leading up to treatment, I was feeling pretty, pretty much rotten most of, most of the time. What, what were the symptoms? Oh, just um, the nearest I could say, it would be like having a permanent hangover from alcohol. Uh, you know, headaches and confusion. Um, <laughs> headaches, confusion. It's like being hungover without the fun, <laughs> I suppose. You know, but no, I felt rotten most of the time. You know, I mean, a good day I'd feel 50%, most days I felt 20%. And, I, I couldn't contemplate feeling like that forever. Really. And the treatment has worked for you, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. I think um, more from an emotional point of view, I'm still recovering from the treatment. The treatment itself was debilitating, but once I'd accepted it and decided to go through it, it's actually taught me how to look after myself. I mean, I'm not using anything I shouldn't anymore, and I'm certainly not drinking anymore. I've changed my diet, changed my life in lots of ways, and uh, I've learned a lot from it. It's, been re it's been actually been worthwhile, if one could say that. Paul, a vaccine will clearly make a, a big difference for lots of people. Why isn't there a vaccine for hepatitis C when there is one for hepatitis B? So, so hepatitis B is a, um, is a similar virus. It can set up long-term infection, but it doesn't vary as much as hepatitis C. So hepatitis C, when it copies itself, it makes mistakes, and these mistakes make, mean it can vary in its shape a lot, and that makes it very hard for the immune system to pin down. Hepatitis B doesn't do that, so there's a really effective vaccine. You just offer the body a, a protein that's the shape of hepatitis B and it'll make a beautiful antibody response. So that's, that's much easier, fortunately. And you're lucky for people to take part in the trial. How, how safe is that going to be? Because obviously okay. people are a bit nervous about it. Yeah, so it's, well, it's a safety trial and um, obviously it's a new venture, but uh, there's been lots of testing of this and, and other very similar sorts of approaches um, in, in people. And uh, so we're confident that, that it'll be done as very safely. People will be given a very small amount of... Uh, of, of the vaccine. It's not hepatitis C itself, it's just something that mimics it and uh, we'll follow them up very carefully and hopefully they'll make a, a great response against the, the, that vaccine and which in future could protect people against the virus. Paul, mm. Philip, thank you. Thank you. And if you're interested in taking part in that trial or want more information you can contact the research team. The email address and the phone number are on the screen now. There it is for you.